everywhere we look in the world today, we find plastic. Now in our study, we went to Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, and United Arab Emirates to Dubai. And that's where we found a remarkable discovery. Unfortunately, plastics inside camels. Now we were there studying plastics in the Gulf of Arabia, and we met a veterinarian, uh, Dr. Uli Werner. I'm here with uh, Dr. Uli, he's a camel biologist, and we're talking about these things that are inside camel stomachs, these giant gastroliths. And he runs a camel hospital in Dubai, and he said, if you wanna see plastics, come with us. We went 60 miles into the desert, over these rolling sand dunes, looking over these beautiful landscapes, and you might see little piles of white here and there, and those were piles of bones, and that's normal. We began digging inside the rib cage of this one skeleton. And as we got deeper into it, I began seeing plastic trash inside the ribs, inside the chest. As the ribs were sticking up, there was this mass of plastic bags that was being unearthed. And by the time we got it out of the ground, out of the camel's chest, it was the size of a small suitcase and it was solid plastic bags. We call these masses a polybezoar. So why are camels eating plastic? Well, from the camel's perspective, if it's not sand, it's food. Food is so scarce out there. There are a few trees called acacia trees. If a plastic bag is stuck in a tree, from the camel's perspective, it's part of the tree and they eat it. In our study, we collected five polybezoars from five skeletons in the desert. We didn't put plastics in an aquarium to see the animals eat it and how they're impacted. This is a real life concentration of plastics in the environment caused a population level effect of 1% mortality. Therefore, we must eliminate plastic bags from civilization and usher in the reuse revolution that is working 